guys, it's the next day. Uh, it's actually late afternoon. Um, I have dug into the stock wiring loom that goes into the engine compartment from the fuse box to the sides of the wings and stuff and whatnot. Um, I have removed quite a lot of stuff uh, from the original wiring loom, um, including the all the ECU connectors for the K jet, all the EZL stuff, and all this stuff that used to be inside um, into the stock wiring loom. There's pretty much nothing in there. Um, but yeah, as I said, I have removed every bit of wire that I decided that I don't need. So I'm going to tuck everything to the side now and I'm going to start prepping the engine bay for paint. But also I'm going to reinforce the towers um, because as you can see over here, this is starting to crack. So what that tells me, it's either been riding on the bump stops for a long time before or it's been crashed or something like that. Something of that sort has been happening. And um, over here we have cracking. And now we're gonna be running a very harsh coilovers. Um, they're very, they're stiff. Like the car is not, I'm jumping on the car right now and the car is not moving up and down all that much. Of course we don't have an engine, but now that we have removed the spring and everything is on the towers, I would like to reinforce it. So as you can see over here, I have started removing some of the seam sealer. I'm gonna remove it all the way around and I'm gonna start welding this in place. Just a couple tack welds, or maybe like a small um, small run of a weld, like about, about a centimeter and a half. I'm gonna do this on both sides. guys so this is our radiator holder an intercooler holder it's very flimsy when it's by its own but when you bolt everything else to it it's actually quite sturdy I'm gonna run the rubber grommets in it I might actually at later stage just add in as a bolt on upgrade another bar from here to here or maybe just weld it in and just spray some you know, stuff to it. Just need to order more of that bar. Uh, but I'm gonna scuff in the engine bay now um, and slowly start getting it ready for um, spraying. Just gonna run some primer on it, some seam sealer where it needs. And tomorrow morning I'll come and just shoot the whole bay. And then I'm gonna start working on something else by the time this is drying. Hello guys, um, you've just seen me put the engine inside the car with dad, it's been a couple of two three days I believe, um, I've got the stock wiring loom on the car already put back where it used to be, um, and today we're going to start making the downpipe for the car, I have a, a quite nice idea, which I believe is going to work pretty nicely, 
Um, the engine is in, the radiator, the intercooler is in. I'm still waiting for the um, driver wire throttle body with the welding kit. I don't know when that's coming. Hopefully later this week. Um, I can mount the fuel pressure leg here, a regulator on the tower, the shock tower. Um, and yeah, it's, we're pretty much ready to start making the wiring loom, which I believe I'm going to start doing that tomorrow. Like Alex helped me plug all the wires in the ECU. Um, and I just need to run the power and the grounds and the two knock sensors. So let me show you how the, la the car looks like right now. And let me show you the idea that I have for the downpipe. Um, no cutting involved to the chassis or anything like that. We just remove the couple heat shields. But the downpipe is going to be fully wrapped in as well. So hopefully it should be all good. Have a look. So as you can see, intercooler, radiator, that's all done. The turbo's being clocked. I have made the extended drain. So it's easier to run the AN lines uh, and tighten them. Um, yeah, all the stock wiring follows up where it used to be. Um, I've opted out on cutting the chassis, like making a bigger hose in the chassis to get the wires through. I don't think it's needed. And also with the size of the tires, um, I don't know if it's going to be a good idea. But we have sawed fuel pressure regulator. It's the first time I'm using this one. I have attached the um, MEU pressure sensor to it. Um, on the other side, down there, I don't know if you can see, probably not, is our pressure and temperature sensor. We have AN4 fitting coming from that to a restrictor in our pulsar turbo. Um, coils are already in, injectors are already in, fuel rail is tightened. Actually, the feed for the fuel rail is already done as well. I need just a couple of clamps to secure that rubber hose over here. And I need a 12 by 1.5 to a 516s barb adapter. And I'm just going to run a soft rubber um, rated line. And uh, fuel side, we're done. I'm going to get uh, probably a block off for the fuel pressure regulator, the standard one, uh, because we don't want that interfering with this one. Uh, I'm still gonna try and run the wires under, tucked away, hidden, uh, but we'll see how that goes, there's plenty of time. Now to the downpipe, the idea is, we're gonna come of course with some pie cuts, because we love pie cuts, and then two 45s from Profusion, um, and they're gonna hopefully join the downpipe just like that coming right underneath the kangaroos manifold uh, I'm gonna make some tabs to hold the downpipe in place so it doesn't weight down the the manifold if you look on Petus on the kangaroos website um, you can see that they suggest running um, like a brace to hold down the turbo so it doesn't crack the manifold and it's mandatory to have a flex pipe which we you know we always put one anyway it's make makes a pleasant driving experience um, but yeah this is the plan so two pipe cuts from the top from the v-band uh, a little bit of a straight pipe and then 245s which are then gonna continue to a straight pipe again so yeah I'm gonna start with I'm gonna leave that one here and I'm gonna start with tacking these on uh, on multiple places uh, then we're gonna measure how long pipe we wanna leave between this and the 45s we're gonna tag that in place and then we're gonna clock the 45s because right now they're just following a, a straight line so like the bend is not twisted but we could do that if we want to you know, move stuff around and gain more clearance. And the pipe, uh, which is gonna come from the 45s, is gonna be very short because I'm gonna have another V-band at the top. Uh, so then after the V-band, we get a flexi pipe with a, four, with a 90 degree coming all the way to the back of the car. And then a couple of more whirly woos and whatnot. Um, but yeah, let's remove this and um, start welding. It's been a while, yesterday. 
when I was welding. <laughs> Last time when I was welding was yesterday, I was welding Ali for my neighbor's car. This is why uh, the videos are not frequent because my neighbor, Jay, with the blue 190 that we built last year, he's decided that he needs to bring me the car and we need to do a fully rebuild of the kit last year that we did. So it's gonna have uh, a new turbo, it's gonna have a new intake. Well, it already has them. New turbo, new intake, new driver wire, a couple more sensors, new injectors, new fuel rail, new gearbox, new clutch, new prop, new diff, uh, new prop shafts, new shifter, <sighs> and everything, new intercooler, like the mounting of the intercooler is completely different. Uh, you're gonna see that very soon. Once the car is complete, I'll give you an update on this vehicle. Uh, but, oh my God, it's been two weeks of like non-stop work. We'll come in 10 o'clock in the morning, we'll go home like nine o'clock in the evening. So really, it's what I work. Um, but yeah, it's been full madness and I haven't had that much time to work on the red flag. So, I'm sorry for the delay, but we're back on it now. The car, the neighbor's car is waiting for parts for another week. So, you know, in a week, we know what George can do in a week. We can wire it in, run exhaust and boost pipes if everything is here. So, we might have a run up very quick. So, stay tuned, stay tuned to the channel. Um, but now, let's get to welding and stop waffling about with you know, is it going to be, is it not going to be? So let's go. Pretty good. There we go. There we go. Perfect. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna tackle out this in place. Let me just get my oh, helper. Put the gas on, man. What are you doing? I've ruined my tungsten that way. Thank you. 
That will do. Okay. Let's clean up everything now. Look. All that dirt came out of the pipes. Unfortunately, I don't have a purge kit, otherwise this would have been an absolute weapon of a downpipe. It's still going to be good, but you know, it would have been nice if it's all purged. Nicely welded both sides, you know. There it is, how it looks from the top. Plenty of space both sides. I'm gonna make a small uh, plate, like a holder from this hole down there. So it holds it nice and sturdy. But yeah. Pretty nice and tucked away. Missing pretty much everything. We're gonna just... Um, how do you call it? Wrap it and we'll be good, good to go. Let me have a look from underneath how it looks down there. I have tucked the V band on it. Um, so I'll have a look how it looks underneath and if it's all good, I'm gonna wet weld the V band, make a, a hole for the O2 sensor somewhere there, and uh, that's it. Downpipe done, 45 minutes. I would say that's pretty good. Okay, so I have prepared some pie cuts. This is roughly 90 degrees. It's missing 10 degrees on both sides. Um, and this is cut with a 10 degree angle on it. Um, this over here, I'm gonna make a small bead that goes into the intercooler piping up to here. And then turn around and then it goes up to the turbo. So we can weld that on and then we can measure how long the pipe needs to be from here to the turbo but yeah it's going well so far this side is almost done yeah let's weld this Okay, so this side is done, as you can see. All right. Pretty nice. This side, I'm thinking, this is not sharp enough of an uh, angle. It's a 90, but it's very, like, not ideal. Um, oh, might need to replace that second hand stuff not great um, but yeah I might make a pie cut 90 here so then I can use this to go up 
like that. To go up from the intercooler, come around and fit in that perfect spot here where it's going to give you enough space to open up the reservoir for the power steering it's not going to touch on the pulley but it also goes into that recess where the stock pipe has and then from here into uh, the plan is from here to go into a 45 and then to a pipe cut 90 that will go directly to the throttle body and um, this should be quite nice and all the the cold side and the hot side is going to be done and then we can continue with brake lines as you can see these are not doing anything right now uh, i need to change the line for the clutch because um, it's too short um, yeah quite a lot of work to do I'm still waiting on that throttle body I'm gonna follow up today and see what's going on with this uh, but yeah this way this area over here is gonna remain nice and clean we can polish it later on make it look nice and snazzy um, maybe a catch can can go there I don't know um, this side as well we're gonna have uh, the coolant reservoir we're gonna still retain the wash jet after all this is a daily car it's gonna be so it needs to have all the stock stuff you know it needs to drive in style but also functionality but yeah maybe a nice little catch can right here and um, we can tie all that in there make it very nice I'll get new vacuum lines, probably black, just to blend everything in. Um, all the silicon couplers, I'm gonna try and get black. You know, make the engine base look nice and tidy. Um, but yeah, the little guy is waiting there patiently. So, I'm liking it. Hello, it is pretty much the next day. Um, Hopefully today the drive-by wire is gonna arrive, the throttle body itself, uh, with the welding kit and so on. Um, so we can finish the intercooler pipes. But we have long ways to go before we actually get to the intercooler, uh, to the throttle body itself. So I suggest we start doing some 90s from pipe cuts uh, so we can bring it at least up to here, up to the top of the um, radiator hose. And then the final bit where it goes to the actual throttle body we'll finalize when that is here um, but yeah I have as you saw a minute ago I've made loads of these little guys which are ready to weld so I suggest we clean up a little bit start making some pipes I don't know why the camera decided to cut off on the time lapse, but um, yeah, basically I made a 90 degree into a 90 degree, uh, all of pipe cuts. Um, then we have a small section of a pipe that is gonna go into the silicon coupler. And now we need to just measure how long we need the straight piece um, that will go to the top of the radiator hose. So then we can start making the rest of the bends and stuff. So yeah, have a look. It's still hot, literally I just finished welding it, um, but yeah, this is it. I'll polish the welds a little bit so they look nice and crisp. Um, but yeah, that's it. Polish it up, clean it up, and I'll sit in there like this going upwards. 
Ah, so nice when they're all prepared up, ready for you to do the next day. But yeah, in the next 30 minutes to an hour, hopefully the throttle board is gonna arrive. Um, so we can see how to proceed with welding it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, it's been a couple of quick hours. Had lunch, played with Alex, delivery came, George opened the opening of the intake manifold to about three inches. Um, so it matches the one on the throttle body. Um, I've mounted uh, inlet air temperature to the manifold as well. Made a spacer for the fuel rail so everything sits nicely. Um, the bung for the oil, uh, for the fuel return came as well. Run the wire, uh, the the hose for it. Uh, now we're waiting just for the silicon connectors and pretty much mechanically the engine bay is done. Um, I just need to add the west gate for the you know to the um, exhaust. Um, we need to bleed the coolant. We need to add oil and we need to plop in a wiring loom and then theoretically the engine can start and run um, the gearbox i haven't decided what i'm doing yet we decided i'm putting the five speed back on the 191 or i'm leaving the five speed from the cok in i haven't decided yet um, we'll see uh, i might need to add two speed sensors one to the front and one to the gearbox um, but yeah, other than that, I don't know. Let me show you guys what I have done so far. Okay, so as you can see, throttle board is installed. Uh, and if I open it, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's like matched to the size that the opening is i'm gonna get a um, three inch to two and a half inch and i'm gonna shorten this where it needs to be uh, fuel line is run i just need to get a couple connectors um like a horse clamps but yeah a lot of a lot of things have been done on this episode uh, some of them i showed some of them i didn't because we have already done them especially this year like not too long ago if you want to check more of these m111 projects look at the last video where i did the wiring loom or look at the other series uh, where i did that black one um, black or gray whatever you want to call it so there's loads of info on these projects and on these uh, sort of uh, engine swaps um, but if you do have any questions please let me know I try to respond to every single comment that I see down in the um, comment section sort of a thing. Um, you can text me on my Instagram as well, Drifting Rust. Um, I'm happy to help anybody. So if you have any questions, any inquiries, if you want me to do this on your car, if you want a wiring loom, whatever you need, just DM me and I'll try and help you out. Um, I'm working towards making these cars more popular and more of them out on the road um, faster better anything you can think more reliable you know nowadays nobody no no new mechanics want to tune the cage yet um, i can help you with that if you have a cage jet car and you need a little bit of a help i can kind of tune it because i have a wideband o2 that we can hook up and see um, mixtures but even myself, that I love 190s, 124s, 123. I love these cars, but even I am up to here with KJ. They're old and they just don't work. EFI is the future, at least for me, you know, my own honest opinion. If you don't like it, you know. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you very soon uh, when we get the wiring loom made for this car and uh, turn the wheel. But for now, bye-bye.